Hello, and welcome to the American Heraldry Minute. Today, we're going to spend just a moment talking about heraldry in the American Thanksgiving holiday. Are there armorial connections to the separatist Puritans who left Plymouth in 1620 aboard the Mayflower? Of course, many of these settlers were poor Calvinist farmers who were unlikely to be armagers. Those that were armagers included long-serving Governor William Bradford. The Pilgrims also would have been familiar with the municipal arms of the European cities they were leaving, the crossed keys of Leiden in the Netherlands, and the saltier and towers of Plymouth in England. One of the most notable uses of heraldry early in the history of Massachusetts was the 1629 seal of the Plymouth Colony, featuring a shield with a St. George's cross between four kneeling human figures holding up hearts in offering. Though we can see heraldry used in the earliest constructions of America's mythology, we can also see it being used in more modern Thanksgiving settings. For example, we see the American arms in this early 20th century postcard, though shown incorrectly. The turkeys, though, seem unconcerned about this armorial error, perhaps because they have greater worries on their minds. Happy Thanksgiving from the American Heraldry Society.